Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. And welcome back for another box opening and review. And in this one, we're working, uh, we're doing the Ravel Level 5 Mercedes Benz 1625 L TLF 2450. Not sure what all that means, but we'll probably find out as we take a look inside the box. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and your comments are welcome. All right, so this one came out last year in 2022. This one is a limited edition and it's also got new on the box, which I'm interested in finding out what's new about it. Um, there's our number there. That's the product number if you want to look it up. Uh, on Scalmates, it has it listed. Um, there's quite a few interesting things. The picture on the cover here on Scalmates of this limited edition does not have this new on it. So I don't know what's new in here, but we'll find out. Now, uh, it's a 124th scale. It has 231 parts, and it's 29.6 centimetres in size. Now, um, one thing I did notice is it was originally released back in 1989. So it's a fairly old kit. Um, but somehow, in 1996, it was re-released with a new box, and it showed the size as 29.2 centimetres. Sometime between then and, and this release, it's grown by... 0.4 centimeters. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, all right, so let's get on with this and have a look. Basically, the box art, you can see, it's got, looks quite nice. It's got all the interior, you got all the, everything inside here. Looks nice bit of detail. Got the water cannon on the roof, which I think it rotates up there as well, which is good. The driver's compartment looks quite good. All the gauges and instrument cluster, nicely detailed. Uh, that looks like just a bit of a view underneath, looks like. There. So it's all right. Um, on the other side, just pretty much has the same as the cover art. And on this side, we've just got the basic color callouts here. Uh, we'll look at those when we look at the instructions and uh, sprues. All right. Okay. Let me, uh, it's quite a decent sized box. So uh, let me come back. I'll just get this box open. We'll have a look what's inside. Okay. So top opening box, which is good, but a bit of a flimsy box as they're known for. And a bit of excess room in there for things to move around but anyway so we've got our instructions here we'll take a look at that later um, here's our decal sitting on top um, they look quite good they've got the date on these is actually 2022 Ravel so that's good so we know the decals are quite quite new um, just notice the instruction book on the front page as here, uh, 2022 as well. So that's good. There's all our sprues. We've got just the usual uh, different language um, information sheet there. Put that aside. And the sprues. All right. Okay, well, I'll bring them out one at a time. I'm just noticing here, all the white ones here. Um, the seats, this is good. But then looking here, I don't know why, but they've got a whole bag of sprues here. There's the front cab in no bag, just sitting there. Okay, so all these sprues all bunched up in the one bag. Um, be nice if they did not do that. <laughs> Let's hope there's no pieces fly floating around. All right, I'll get this off the desk and we'll go through these sprues um, one at a time and have a good look. We'll be back in a sec. 
Okay, welcome back. So the first screw, which was on the top of the box, we're not doing these any particular order. First thing I noticed was that I couldn't find what number or what letter screw it is. And I looked everywhere. Let me take that off, have a bit of a closer look. All right. So what I've found out is that the sprues are not numbered. There's no number and there's no letter on these. Uh, just the individual parts are numbered, which for some reason is upside down. Or oh, I don't know, maybe not, but you would think that the parts that are facing up would have the numbers you could read. Okay, there's the grill and there's the seats. But the tags are blank because the number's on the underside, which is uh, unusual. Anyway, all right, so on sprue this one, <laughs> uh, we've got the seats, and already I can see a bit of flash on the side of the seat there. So uh, that's going to have to be trimmed up quite a bit on the steering wheel there, the plastic. On the side of this piece here it basically there's lots of plastic flash all over the place really the doors look okay um, this floor plan I think it is looks like one of the mud guards looks okay um, the grill looks fine but yeah some of these smaller look this the light there has some flash on the side here as well there's I mean the mirror. Yeah, more. Yeah, pretty much lots of flash. I would say these are the original sprues done by the look of the plastic. Okay, let me grab another piece and we'll have a look. Okay, so the next sprue is black. And we'll just uh, take this out. It's quite a large one. And uh, again, numbers yeah that's strange to me i've never noticed that before but the numbers are on the underside of the sprues okay um so there's all the engine there uh looks like it's got a lot of um detail on there but not separate we've got the engine exhaust headers a part of the engine a lot of detail i can see there on that uh transmission that would be in fact it looks like uh, it's all connected to the engine so that's not shortening the um, part count a, a bit we got the differential here obviously and again all in one piece probably the front and rear and we've got uh, the exhausts we've got two parts for the exhaust there uh, that looks like the tail shaft there this looks like the front of the engine with the fan belts, and it's all one piece. Yeah, that's all in one piece there. These might be fuel tanks, not sure. We've got the rims here. Um, definitely a lot less flash on these black sprue. Um, looks like some bumper bar there. This looks like the chassis rails. That piece is there springs got leaf springs all good so that's that one we'll grab the next sprue okay so i'm just going through before i open the one with all the sprues together we'll do all the individual packs uh this is the clear parts here they look quite good i don't want to take them out of the plastic but um they do look quite clear as you can see there pretty happy with that uh, at least I've put them in a separate bag, so that's a good thing. They've got this big piece here that's going to stop them, you know, getting scratched easily or knocked around. Yeah, looks good. Headlight there. Um, we've got the windows. Yeah, that looks fine. And uh, moving on, the other packet here is the wheels. Uh, we've got rubber tyres here. Quick look at them. Now, what have we got here? Well, that's interesting. Guessing that pops out. 
we cut that off. I'm not sure how that comes off. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Nice tread patterns. They look quite authentic there. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. We'll check that through the instructions. We've got Dunlop brand um, written on the side of them. And uh, yeah, they look quite good. Yeah, right, well, we'll check that out in the instructions, what that story is about. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll put that back in. Yeah, I need to get that in the way it came out. Okay. All right. Now, now here is this that was just loose in there. So that's the cabin. Um, looks pretty good. Again, more flash on the on there. There's a bit of flash in the. Oh, there's quite a bit actually. All this along here will have to be trimmed off. All along the back there to be trimmed off. Windows at the back seem fine, although yeah, that'll need a bit of a sand. There you go. The detail in the roof looks okay. All right. What else have we got in the box here? This looks like fire hose. But I don't know what sort of material that is? Sort of stretchy, rubbery material. We'll keep an eye out for that in the instructions as well. I think that goes on the roof, lies on the roof of spare hose. All right, um, so here's our bag of sprues. I don't know why they've done that. I mean, they're tightly packed, but still, yeah. So I'll, I'll get these open, we'll bring them out one at a time. Okay, so they were packed in quite tight. The only way to get them out was to slide them all out at once. Fortunately, there were no broken parts or anything lying in the bottom of the bag. Anyway, so I'm not sure what most of this is. This could be, look, looks like that um, fire, the hose, the big um, water cannon part of that. Not sure what that is. Um, maybe it's part of the racking inside. Some molded on detail there for what that might be, another panel. These look like some aluminium plating, like uh, foot areas where you'd walk, yeah, it looks like. Nice texture on that. Um, again, it does look like there's more, there's a lot of flashing here. Look at the big piece of flash on the side of this, need to be trimmed off. That's, oh, uh, there's a bit more there. Definitely a lot of cleanup required all the way around on this as well but uh, other than that details okay in my opinion <laughs> there's more flash here see that on the side of here and here it's just I guess it's just the age of the kit hey how am I to know I've been building models for only three years so you know people with uh, years behind them of experience would probably find this is uh, normal for back in the 80s anyway so that's that one um, these won't go back in that bag the way they came out that's for sure <laughs> excuse me but uh, we'll see what we can do all right now this one here it's, it's, it's funny it's like barely being held together there by the flashing it itself <laughs> um, these could be I'm not sure what these are. It's a barrel of some sort. Again, I, sorry I'm pointing it out, but the plastic that needs to be trimmed off those. Yeah, there's more pieces, but again, they're not very crisp at all. I'm looking here at this. But all the edges around all of that would have to be sanded, including these. I don't know what these are. It's like some of the water pump, but all the way around, it's like, double vision <laughs> yeah, same with this as well okay next one very fine parts on this like we've got the railings on the roof through there they look quite okay 
these might be the seats, I think. Or some somewhere area to stand. Again, that might go on the roof. Um, some sort of racks there, supports. This might be some more railing. It's all railing mostly on this sprue. Some brackets there. Uh, again, more flash on here, on here, on the sides. Basically, every part of those need will have to be sanded, cleaned up. There. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last of the, I know almost the last of the silver sp sprues is this one. That looks like the roof. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be on the roof. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. But very delicate, but they're okay. Uh, some pipes. Don't know what that is. Again, more flash in there that need to be cleaned out. Get that look in the right shape. This one here is actually saying Ravel 1989. Yeah, 1989. So that's the, definitely the original. Okay, that. Uh, just found a piece sitting there. Guessing that might have come off here. There we go. It's come off there. Okay, it's on there. Doesn't look like it's broken at all. Obviously, we've got more. Flash on there, <laughs> trim off, but yeah, so there's a piece I don't want to lose. We'll put that aside. All right, we've got one more gray one, silver colored, and this looks like I'm not sure. The wall checker plate, the whole thing is checker plate. Now, this piece is warped, you can see that there's a warp in that. Yeah, that'll have to be uh, straightened, depending on how that's going to go. That'll need fixing. The sprue is like this. These two on the ends here don't seem to be as affected, so they look okay. These look like the roller shutter doors with the louvers on them. They look okay. Yeah. Okay, and we go back to a couple of white sprues now. All right, so here we are with the sides of the truck. Uh, again, flashing around on there, uh, on here, down here. That piece looks okay. So yeah, a little bit more clean up. Here's our roller doors there, there. I don't know what those other parts were that had the roller doors. I thought they were replacing them, but I guess not. Well, this, this sprue is quite an interesting one. The parts on here aren't numbered at all. The little tags are there, but they're all blank on both sides. I mean, we'll figure, you, I'm sure we'll figure out what's what, but still, you know, strange one's broken off there, but it's not too bad. But yeah, no, no sprue number, no numbers on the parts. Okay. <laughs> Have they learnt over the years? Has it changed much? Here we go. We've got numbers on this part. This is the last sprue. We've got ladders on here. We've got the mud guards. Um, I see a oh, big bit of plastic there that's going to be, that doesn't belong. <laughs> Other than that, oh, there's some on the side that will need cleaning up on these mud guards. Get in there. Yeah, but uh, yeah, there we go. So there's the sprues. Okay, let's go and have a look at what do we look at? Let's have a look at the decals next. Okay, back in a second. Okay, so there's our decal sheet, and uh, they do look very good. Obviously, they're not original, um, they're very large, thick ones printed in Italy. Ravel 2022 with the Mercedes Benz. Correct. It's all correct. We've got our number plate, a couple of badges, 
Uh, obviously, the seat covers are there. Quite a few gauges in there look good. A little written plaques and bits that go around on the on the truck. And uh, I don't know what those are. Interesting. But yeah, some very nice little detail in there. Looks really good. Time to look at the manual. Back in a sec. Okay, so here we are with the Ravel Mercedes Benz 1625. TLF 2450. Instructions are 2022 Ravel, which is good. Printed in Poland. And all the customer service contact details are there. Picture on the front. Let's have a look inside. All right, before you read, read before you start, the usual uh, how to do everything. Number one there, they've got the part, how to take it off, how to paint it with a brush, yeah, so forth. Very basic. Um, the symbols. Symbols are important to know. Glue, don't glue. Um, this illustrates the assembled part. Decals, need decal softener. Say question is optional tape up parts for adhesive tape, uh, allow parts to dry. That num number is in a square like that will be referring to clear parts. It says here this one is number of working steps, so you might have to build two of those. Drill a hole. There's one I haven't seen before. What's that? Heat tip of screwdriver and press on protruding end of plastic. Pin. Okay, so I saw this, had to do this when I built the Ravel London bus. There was a section there in the steering mechanism, the wheels where you had to press, hit something metal, press down and melt the plastic and that stopped the um, attachment from coming off and let you let the wheels um, turn on the axle. So probably a similar thing for that. Uh, this one is repeat the same on the opposite side and obviously remove. Um, there's a little star there that means not included. They're just some safety stuff. Okay. Right, there's our paint call outs there. All right, so we've got basically with aluminium. We're going to have a few versions of that. Aluminium, black, silver. Uh, grey steel, another mixture of black and dark grey, 50 50. We've got black gloss, white gloss. Uh, we've got Lufthansa blue, don't know what that might be. Uh, wood brown would be for the ladder, uh, ladders. Uh, there's a luminous red, which is the base colour of the truck, and clear gloss. Yep, and then we've got fiery red and there's a purple red we've got a yellow gloss uh, another gray and a green mixture there fiery red brown and fiery red mixture 50 50 for those parts in q r is orange orange clear blue clear red clear obviously for the tail lights indicators and so forth there's a blue gloss and a grey again. So there's your colours to go through. There's our sprue callouts, which are not lettered or numbered. Just going to have to go by the number pieces. Um, yeah, that makes it a little bit tricky. But anyway, there we go again. More sprues. And there's step one beginning. So we'll go through this fairly quickly and have a look at the steps. Um, so on this build, we're starting with the chassis, putting those chassis rails in, the cross members going in. They're putting the color call outs, of course, straight up. We've got uh, one and two, three. So they're the part numbers. Okay, no problem. It's not telling you any particular order to put them in, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, although some parts like this be interesting if they still fit in once you've glued the rest. Anyway, step two is doing the front or rear bumper bar. I'm not sure which that is. It looks like the rear bumper bar with the lenses going in already. The tail lights. 
Uh, here's the engine, which is going to be fairly simple. It's just two steps. Glue the two halves together. Um, put the fan belts and pulleys on the front. And a little piece off to the side here. And that's it. And then it goes into this. Okay. We've got uh, the leaf springs going on here. And a couple of hooks on the front there. The differentials going together. Another part, oh, sway bar. It looks like sway bar is going on. Then they're getting connect, put down onto the chassis under the engine. Not sure what this part is, but the um, two tail shafts are going to that. So that's probably part of the transmission. Uh, 12 is the exhaust pipe in two pieces going on. There's the uh, rear differential going on with the tail shaft. Here we've got uh, some more parts going on. Looks like that'll be for the suspension. Uh, there's some supports going in there for the side. Don't know. That could be a fuel tank 39 there. There's our tyres going together. And it does seem that that centrepiece gets cut out. Yeah, first time I've seen that in a tyre. But you need to cut that out and then fit these the rims together. I don't know what the T means. Not sure what the T means there. There's another T and another T. We'll see. Maybe it's just tyre, obviously. <laughs> All right. So there's where our wheels are going on. Front and rear. Telling you not to glue them. We've got some decals going on as we put together the dashboard. Um, that gets all painted up and put onto there. Here we're putting the seats in, steering wheel and steering column. Across here we got the. Um, mind you, keep an eye out. There's decals going on throughout this as well. Uh, there's one of the doors going on. It's like the inside of the, the door, uh, opposite door of the hinge going on there. I do believe these doors open and close, so that's good. Here's the main cab which I thought tilted up and down too. Not sure. I don't see that's the case yet. There's the grill going on. I'll keep an eye out on that because it would be good. Yeah, it does look like it does tilt forward. So you can see the engine detail if you want to display it that way. So that's good to know. Uh, windows going in the passenger and driver's side door. There's the cab going down. Cab cover going down over to the over the driver's compartment and all that going down onto it looks like a chassis component there. There's some mud guards getting put together and going on. That's interesting. Well, I think that's just explaining that the doors open and that the cab tilts. Okay. Here we are doing it looks like a spotlight going on the roof. The windscreen wipers are going on here. Little bits on the side of the bodywork. Uh, we've got the blue lights at the top. We've got the rear view mirrors going on. Then the whole thing pops down onto the chassis. That looks like a fuel tank going together there. This looks like uh, something else. <laughs> I don't know what that is for that. Here we're doing, looks like the main back area of the truck going together, the floor and the, and the sides going on. There's some, I don't know, they're colours to paint. I thought they might be holes to drill, but they're not. Haven't come across any holes to drill yet. Decals going on here as well as the compartments you'll start working on around the back of the truck. All your tools stuff are. There's our shutters, paint call outs for them. 39. There's one of the cupboard areas going in with the shelving and racks and like a fire extinguisher or something. Well, it's a fire engine, obviously they get a fire extinguisher. That's probably an oxygen tank or something there. This part here that looks like a toaster, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, but it does in the next step, the whole thing slides into one of the compartments of the truck. So quite a lot of detail in putting that together and then it goes into the truck. Um, it, it's good there. There's uh, more pieces going in there. 
and the whole sides going on and then these louvers look like they slide in so it looks like to me one side of the truck you can open and close these the other side are fixed as we saw on that uh, the body uh, there's that thing i thought was a fuel tank but it, it probably is <laughs> Going over to step 46, there's lots of parts going underneath the rear of the truck here. There's those triangular supports we saw before. They're all going underneath. Uh, there's those footrests. That's what they were. It looks like you don't glue them, so they look like they fold down. So that's nice, um, if that's what they are. Yeah. Okay. Uh, rear tail lights going on, possibly. Not sure what that is. There's the whole back going down onto the chassis there. We've got a ladder going on the back. Uh, some of the rear bumper part looks like there. Another section here, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's going to be part of the roof. Just a page, here we go. There's another separate individual component here going together. I think this is something that's going to go on the roof, yeah. A couple of ladders getting attached to that making up a couple of boxes. Uh, there's some of the railings going on the side and here. The fire railings. Good. More railings. There's our water cannon. There's that strange bendy piece I saw. It must be the control, the bar to control it. There's also a decal there and a control panel for it. Uh, I think this moves. I'm fairly sure that rotates. Uh, there's the main water cannon itself, and it attaches to that, that attaches to that. The whole thing goes onto the roof. A couple of brackets, support for it. This looks like it slides up and down as well, so that's good, telling you not to glue. Uh, here, the whole top gets uh, put down on, on there, as you can see. Uh, maybe that might be something not to glue. Just so you can open up and look inside, depending on how much detail you've got in there. And there's that hose that you've got to cut to length. We saw that long, flexible piece. And obviously there's spare pump, hose pump pieces. So that, that's good. They're telling you the lengths to cut them, so that should be fine. Decals for that. And here we have, uh, I don't know what that says. Or that. But it looks like two different versions. Yeah, it does. So, yeah, that's it. A few color call outs at this stage as well, which is unusual. You would think you would have your color worked out by now. I'm sure they tell you throughout the build colors as well. Just showing all the placement of all the decals. It's like there's the two versions. Oh, here we go. Third version. <laughs> there it is there too. Okay, all right, let's uh, do a quick summary. Back in a sec. Okay, so what do I think? Well, the kit is 33 years old. Okay, the plastic is 33 years old. That's, that's the thing you got to remember. The instructions have been updated, but obviously still the same. Um, but at least they're clear and you can understand them and it, it, you know, it's okay. Unusual that the sprues aren't numbered. So it's just going to make it difficult searching for your parts. Mind you, this whole thing has only 231 parts. So I guess you won't be looking too long. <laughs> um, the decals are very nice. They're obviously new as well. So yeah, they'll, they'll be fine. The sprues themselves, quite a lot of flash and clean up to do on it but I guess that's expected I do have an Apollo Saturn 5 that I bought and uh, it's very similar when it comes to the plastic condition of the plastic the tires are interesting they look good the tread should shouldn't be a problem I think it'll come up really nice some nice paint work and, and do a bit of detail work I like the the way you can open up the cupboards and some of them and, and have a look inside, as you can see in the picture here. But I don't think you can do that on the other side. Yeah, unless you can make some modifications, you might be able to cut that out 
and get it to work somehow. I don't know, maybe. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments of it. It's going into my stash, which is slowly growing. I don't know when I'll be building this, but um, yeah, I look forward to a bit of a challenge. Yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments. And, uh, and uh, yeah, if you've built this, uh, how'd it go for you? Did you come across any problems at all? Is there any issues? Just uh, let me know. I will say that I do find it a little bit deceiving when they put new on the box. When, they're, you know, all right, yeah, we know what bits are new, but it's not a new kit. That's by a long shot. 30-odd <laughs> years. You know, with that beautiful picture on the front of the cover, you wouldn't, I don't know, just the average inexperienced shopper would go along, oh, that looks like a really nice new kit. When you're not, you're buying something that old. I think that's a little bit deceiving. But anyway, that's my opinion. What do you think? Okay, thank God for scale mates where we can run checks and see what's in the box. Yeah. All right, thank you all for watching this. Um, don't forget to check out my channel for other um, unboxings and builds and quite a list growing. Um, don't forget every Friday, Australia time, I do a live stream, um, getting very popular now and good opportunity to get in there and, and have a chat with you. I have special guests come on now and then, so uh, meet your modeler. <laughs> you might have your favorite modeler come on there. All right, um, yeah, don't forget thumbs up, if you like the video and uh thanks for watching and uh hopefully we'll have this as a, a build in the near future all right thank you all for watching i'll see you next time bye for now